Hi guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. In this video, we will learn about sheet names. So how to get a sheet name in any cell, how to get the list of all the sheet names in the file. And we will also discuss about how to get sheet names from the files in a folder. So first let us come to sheet name in any cell. So if you want to have a sheet name, you need to understand a cell function. What is a cell function? Cell function can give us various details like this belonging to a cell. We will select file name and then from which cell you want to generate this value. So I can select let's say any cell. It doesn't matter. So it will give you the path of that sheet. Okay. So which is directory and the Excel file name and then sheet one. So to generate sheet name out of this, what you need to do is we need every character after this closing square bracket. Okay. So first I need to find and what need what I need to find? I need to find this closing square bracket where in this cell and that's 44th character. Okay. Now if I start my extraction of this text from 45th character, I can get it. So I can write another formula which is mid okay mid from this cell starting position is 44 plus 1 because I want the next character s not the bracket and then how many characters let's keep little bit of room so I will mention 256 characters and you can see sheet 1 is getting generated. So I have just shown you in two, three parts, but you can see this formula. So you can have combined formula like this mid cell name, which is giving you the path. And this is giving you this portion. Second portion is giving you the position of that bracket and then how many characters. So we are just keeping extra 255. In this case, if even if we keep 10, it should work. Okay. So that's about a single sheet name. Now coming to all the sheets. So for all the sheets, let's let me delete this first. So for all the sheets, what we need is we need this formula. Okay, this formula, whatever it is, let us not try to go get into details. We'll simply copy this formula and then we will create a name range based on this formula. So I will right click and define name then I will go there and paste my formula and here I will name it something like list sheets. Before doing this, what you should make sure is that save your Excel file as macro enabled workbook. Otherwise, this may not work. My file is already like that. You can see save as and this should be macro enabled workbook. Okay, for this second process, this is this is requirement. Now, once that sheet is there in newer versions of Excel, I can simply write equal and list sheets. And when I press enter, you can see all the sheet names are appearing in cells. If I want them vertical, what you can do, you can say transpose of this list. And then it will come like that. Let's say you are not having newer version of Excel. So then we will use index function to get these names. So I'm having these serial numbers. Then I will write a function index. It requires a list or array. I will name list sheets or whatever names are there. Then I will simply mention this cell. So this means out, out of this list, give me first value. So that's sheet one and you can drag it down and it gives us all the sheets. Now, if let's say your name changes to France and I will name it as 2020. Okay. When I come here, it doesn't change automatically. What you need to do, you need to double click it again and then it refreshes the name. Okay. So that is the second way to get the list of all the sheet names from this file. Now coming to third way, which is based on Power Query. 
So what we have here is I'm having a folder which is having a file and this file is nothing but it is having similar sheets. Okay. So when I close this, I will go to data tab. Now this requires power query in Excel 2016 and 2019 power query is in data tab. Okay. So you need to get data from where from file and then I will select a folder. Then when I select a folder, it requires a path. So I either you can browse or you can take this path from here and then go back to your Excel file and when I click OK, it will generate, it will try to connect to that folder. Then I need to click on transform. After that, it is showing all the details in that folder. Okay. I am mainly interested in this. Okay. And I will also keep the file name. So when I click on content and name, you can use control key to select both of them and right click and remove other columns because we are not interested in any one of them. Because this is binary content, you need to add a custom column so that we can translate it into a table of data. So the function for that is Excel dot workbook open parenthesis and then content and close the bracket. Okay. Please make sure that E and W should be capital. This power query is case sensitive. So E and W should be capital. When I click OK in the next column, you can see tableau data is there. Now I can delete the first column. It is not required anymore. When I click when I expand this and uncheck this, OK, what this gives is it will give you, it will take you inside that file and you can see these are my sheet names. This is also another column for sheet names. So I can, let's say, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. So I'm having file name and I'm having the table uh, sheet names as well. Okay. Now when I click on close and load, it will generate a new sheet and that's where I will get all the names. Okay. Now benefit with this method is that tomorrow, tomorrow in this folder, if I paste, let's say one more file, and then this file is also having some sheet names, which are simple sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Okay. And this is the output from the power query method. I just need to refresh it and it will update second file or third file or fourth file. It doesn't matter whether it is single file or hundred files. It will bring you file names and sheet names of all the content in that folder. Okay. If they are Excel files because the function which we mentioned was excel dot workbook okay so this method is more robust and it is refreshable this one can take care of multiple files in the folder as well so that's it from my side hope you found it useful please like share and comment and also subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get regular updates on our future videos thanks